Assalamualaikum. Um, in this video, I will continue uh, what I have left uh, or uh, did not explain in the last video. All right, but this video specific, uh, specifically, I want to explain how we can get the AM signal equation from the modulating signal as well as carrier signal equations. Okay, so uh, uh, refer to my uh, notes. All right, this slide. Uh, we uh, oh, I already explained to you how uh, we get the AM signal from the uh, uh, modulating and also carrier signal. So uh, the VM over here. All right, or here we will uh, put to the carrier amplitude. All right, and then we expand it to be uh, this equation. Right. So next uh, on next in this video, I will explain to you how we can get this equation to be this equation, and we can get the LSF, the USF, um, and also the amplitude of the sideband. So from um, my notes, okay, uh, we have VMT, uh, the modulating signal, to be EM cos omega mt. Uh, and the carry signal to be uh, EC cos omega EC, uh, sorry, w, uh, omega CT. Okay, so uh, I just remain the omega to be like this. So the VM, uh, sorry, the AM signal, VAM, okay, will be uh, the, the, when the modulating signal put on the carrier. So this, this, uh, in this process, uh, the modulating signal will be put on to the amplitude of carrier to be uh, EC plus um, uh, EM cos omega MT, all right, cos omega CT. So this equation will be add to this uh, amplitude of carrier to become uh, the next line of equation. So from here, Right, we want to expand it. Uh, I need to to uh, let the, the, this picture of mine go. We want to expand it so that it will be uh, EC cos omega CT plus uh, EM cos omega MT cos omega CT. Okay, so from here, right? Uh, I want to change first. Uh, this EM from the equation of modulation index. So we know that uh, modulation index is when we have the modul uh, modulating signal amplitude divided with the uh, carrier amplitude. So from here it will be the EM is actually equal of modulation index times with the carrier uh, amplitude. So we change this uh, equation to be uh, EC cos omega CT plus M E C um, sorry uh, cos omega MT cos omega CT. So the next step is we want to expand this part of the equation. So let me put it up a little bit. Okay, so how we can uh, expand this cos omega MT times cos omega CT. So this is where we need the, the trigonometric identities. Okay, so I have this uh, trigonometric identity over here. So we will use uh, this equation, this identity to be used in our equation. So let me small it, uh, zoom out a bit. So um, we will use this and uh, assume that the omega uh, m here is the alpha and omega c here is the beta. All right. So we use this and substitute uh, what call it uh, to this to this equation. It become uh, sorry e c cos uh, omega CT plus MEC divided by 2 
and then cos uh, omega m minus sorry plus omega c t uh, cos omega m minus omega c t okay so before we uh, go further i want you to remember that the frequency of modulating uh, signal is actually less than frequency of carrier so we need to change this all right to become let me wrap this over okay so omega c minus omega m t right so next what we need to do is we have to change the omega to be 2 pi f so next will be ec cos omega c uh, sorry not omega um, 2 pi fc okay 2 pi fc plus mec right i forgot to put the bracket over here okay and this is plus right divided by 2 cos um, 2 pi fm plus 2 pi fc t plus m e c divided by 2 let me go over here uh, uh, cos 2 pi f c minus 2 pi f m t okay to become uh, e c cos 2 pi f c t over here i forgot it uh, plus m e c divided by 2 cos 2 pi f m plus f c and then plus m e c divided by 2 cos 2 pi over here uh, f c minus f m t okay so from here we i think it's um, same as what i have shown in my slide let you let you know so this will be the lsf or lsb lower side frequency this will be the upper side frequency this will be the amplitude of the side band okay of side bands and this will be the carrier uh, amplitude as well as frequency okay so next um, i want to show you how we can have different uh, equation or that how you can derive when we have not cos but use a uh, sign okay so i need to wrap this over okay um this time i want to show you how we can uh, derive our equation when we have uh, the sign um, in our equation okay especially when we use it uh, in the modulating signal uh, and also the carrier signal over here uh, same as what we have uh, learned before the modulating signal vmt will be add to the uh, carrier amplitude over here okay and become uh, like this so now what we want to do is we want to expand the sine omega mt sine omega uh, ct okay so refer to our uh, equation uh, sorry uh, trigonometry identities over here we will use this part okay so um, using the sine alpha sine beta equal uh, that equation okay i don't want to explain yeah you, you you can see yourself so we want to uh, substitute them into this equation to be um okay this one would be the same okay plus um okay uh em also we, we want we want to change to uh ec so it will be m e c all right um and divide by two and then uh cos um omega m minus uh, omega c t minus uh M E C divided by two cos uh, omega M uh, plus omega C T. Okay, so in here I want you to be careful 
Alright, uh, on the plus and minus. Okay, just now in course, uh, in the previous um, example, I used the plus, the cos. Cos and cos will give us uh, the plus signal uh, over here. Over here and over here. But for the um, uh, sine and sine, uh, you need to remember to use uh, minus in your equation. Okay, and that will be, that make you... Um, what be um okay getting a, the callous mistake okay so um before i proceed we need to change this one to be omega c minus omega m because frequency of carrier is much more larger than uh frequency of modulating signal so the next step is uh okay i think i don't i don't want to write the code, the carrier over here we want to to focus on the, uh, the, the the later part. So, MEC uh, divided by 2 cos uh, uh, omega C minus omega MT and then uh, minus uh, MEC divided by 2 cos omega M plus omega CT. So, we uh, try to uh, change it to be to pi F. Okay, uh, it will be the same, all right? Uh, MEC divided by 2, cos 2 pi, uh, FC minus FMT, uh, and then minus MEC divided by 2, cos 2 pi, uh, FM plus FCT, right? So this will be uh, the way you uh, get a little bit different equation rather than the one that we or I show in the notes. Okay, so if I can just uh, write the EC over here. Alright, so you can get the amplitude of the side bands over here. And then uh, this is the LSF, this is the USF. Okay. Alright, next, you may want to try yourself when we have um, EM, uh, one of the modulating signal or carry signal to be cos and sine. So one would be cos and one would be sine. And then try to do the same way using uh, this equation. Okay, uh, I don't want to show here because I already show uh, two examples. Uh, the next one, I think um, you can do yourself and if you couldn't, uh, try to consult with me uh, personally. Okay? Alright, thank you.